Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, today on this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make one of those really popular um, high she clay disc beaded stretch bracelets. Um, so these particular beads, um, I'll show you a few here, um, are pretty trendy right now. Um, they are clay shaped like a disc um, and they are really skinny. So you put several of them, you know, side by side and you can mix up the colors. So um, this is a, a very simple tutorial. You actually don't need any tools other than scissors um, unless you plan on adding like a charm or something on it. Um, the little shells are cute. Here's a little um, starfish or a feather. I'm gonna leave those off, but you could certainly add that. Um, so you need um, stretchy cord. So I'm gonna pull off um, about a foot of that. It's more than what you'll need, but it will allow you to um, tie it with no problem. Um, and then it's pretty simple. Basically, um, you know, you just start putting the beads on and determine, you know, what kind of a pattern you wanna do, or do you want them to be um, a little more random? that's kind of up to you. So I want the gray to be kind of my um, main or base color, I guess I would say. And then I'm going to mix in um, some of this kind of olivey green color here, as well as this blushy pink. And I'm gonna use some of the rose gold metal ones as well. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put about 10 of these on and I'll show you seven, make sure I don't lose track. Um, and then I'll start including some of the other colors. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm going to put in The little green one, I'm gonna do two gray. I'm gonna do a rose gold. Two gray again. And then I'm gonna do the pink. And I'm just going to repeat that. Um, if there's one of the colors, and actually I'm gonna do two of the pink. Um, if there's a specific color you want to see more than like I just did with the pink, just double it up or put three of them so it stands out a little more. Um, so I'm just gonna repeat that pattern that I just did. Um, I'll probably have to do it five or six times. And then when I return, um, I'm gonna show you how to tie the bracelet. Okay, so now that I have um, all of my beads on, um, and remember this is stretchy, so it's not something that you have to make it, you know, really big unless you just, you know, prefer it to be bigger. Um, but I have completed the pattern seven times and I'm ready to tie it together. If I did want to include um, a charm or a shell or whatever. Um, some of the shells will have the option or the ability to hook a jump ring on. Um, others you can just slide on. So like this particular one has two holes, so you're able to slide it through and on, um, let me see, like this. Um, you could also use letter beads if you wanted to. Um, so when I tie this up, it would have the little shell on there. Um, so, you know, it's kind of your preference if you want to keep that on there. I actually think I am going to keep it on there. Um, and again, if you wanted to do a charm instead, um, so let me get one and show you how that would go on. Um, you know, like this one, for instance, there's a jump ring. So I would open the jump ring, um, hook that on, and then I can hang this, you know, wherever I want off of here. And again, the other option um, too, is if you wanna use letter beads and spell out something as well. So I will go ahead and leave this shell on, it's pretty cute. 
Um, so now to tie it, um, there's a couple things to keep in mind. If you try to tie it like you would, you know, like a knot, like a shoelace knot like this, with the stretchy cord, a lot of times that comes undone. It doesn't wanna hold itself in place. So we usually use um, a different type of knot, and this is part of the reason why you cut your string longer than what you need, quite a bit longer, so you can grab a hold of it. Um, you gather your two ends together, wrap them around your two fingers, and tuck them, the cords through, like this. Let me pull my fingers out there. And you're going to tighten the knot close to um, your beads or, or if you have a charm on there. Um, and then at that point, if you wanna knot it again, you can, but as long as you pull it, it should stay in place. So you're gonna trim off the extra And that is it. Um, so very simple. This is definitely a great um, jewelry making activity to do with a child. Um, they would, they're very easy to put on because the holes on these beads are a little bit bigger. Um, they're stretchy, so kids don't have to worry about trying to put a clasp, you know, a, hook their own clasp. They can customize them, put their names on them, whatever charms, pick the colors they like. Um, so it's a really great project for kids as well. Um, so that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.